Faster than a speeding bullet! More powerful than a locomotive! And... With all the grace of a drowning penguin! Look up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Shaft! Hey guys, welcome to another Clan and Casting Crew production. We've got an exciting Zerg vs. Protoss for you today. Looks like, uh... It's going to be here on Deerlicked Watcher, and here on the bottom left-hand side of that map, we have our Red Brotoss, representing Team Barcode, we will call him Bashir! And here on the top right-hand side of that very same map, representing Team Clarity Gaming, it's one Orthodox Zerg, if ever there were one, he's BOP! Raise your boppers! No, 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 no. All right, so we got a pull first coming out now for Bop to his opponent's Forge first. This is actually exactly the response you want to a Forge first. Um, so he's lucking out just based on the draw alone. It's here at two and a half, well, yeah, just about two and a half minutes uh, that the drone is going to scout the Forge. The drone scouts it 30 seconds earlier than the Overlord would have. So he's definitely confirming that... Uh, this is a forge first build and the spawning pool is the right decision um he'll probably expand fairly soon after this this really just keeps him safe against any kind of early cannon cheese which uh is always a possibility now there's the hatch for bop um and a probe here for bashir but uh looks like bop's gonna be ready to deal with that he scouts the probe out immediately checking behind the mineral lines just to make sure bashir gonna be sent right on home here and here in uh, the Protoss base, we've got just, you know, your basic expand setup. Very normal, typical stuff here. Uh, gateway, forge, yada, yada, yada. Just your uh, typical setup period. We're going to zoom on through this little beginning period. Extractor uh, being started here by Bob. That's going to be uh, some early gas income. This is a little bit earlier. Typically, you wait till five, five and a half minutes and get both. However, this will allow him to get a faster link speed, maybe a faster layer, something like that. Perhaps he might even go for a fast spire. We'll have to find out. And uh, here we go, Cybercore just being started here for Bashir. And that's going to be, uh, once that finishes, that's going to be the determiner of what kind of tech he's going to go. Cybercore is required for all Protoss tech, so it's only at that point that will this game diverge. Uh, Bop, of course, being the Zerg player, is just playing fairly reactionary. He's got the metabolic boost now. He's keeping guys on gas, which is a little interesting. Sometimes you'll see uh, drones pulled off this gas uh, just to get a couple extra minerals. That means more drones. Um, but hey, to each their own. We don't have a second gas being built, so that may be his way of compensating for that. And a lair getting started now. Plus one, uh, plus one Protoss attack on the way. And there's a Stargate. Yeah, we were looking for that higher tech. It does not set up like any kind of four gate pressure or anything like that. Had to have been a tech. Had to. All right, so one gas layer. Hmm. At this point, you know, he would have wanted some extra gas for Mutalus because that's going to rule that out. This is actually looking a little bizarre, guys, considering he doesn't have a Roach Warren or something like that. Uh, third and fourth gas being taken now for the Protoss. That's six and a half minutes. Bob scouting that perfectly. It's definitely going to tell him his opponent's doing something extremely gas oriented. He's trying to scout for the Stargate. Will he see it? Yeah, if he just curves to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way, right here, buddy. Right here. Come on, Zergy. Come on, Zergy. Come on. It's right there. Boom! He sees the Void Ray. You can even tell it's a void ray in fact ever ever notice that yeah you can actually see the shape of that 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 building while it, or that unit while it's building it's great beautiful okay guys so we've got some extra queens already established here we've got layer tech we've got an infestation pit hmm that's interesting but we'll, we'll see how that works out um spore crawlers already started as well this is perfect response nidus network okay bop um, Bob's definitely one to try to surprise you. Looks like he's going to try Nidus over here. This is possible. He may just burrow here and use this Overlord Creep at Spreadage to delay the third a little bit. Um, either way, yeah, Nidus Network is 
very potent against Protoss. You can pull Protoss all kinds of ways. Protoss has a very slow army. And because the gateway count is so low, it's going to be even slower. In fact, I would even say Bashir is making a mistake right here. I have to pause it to even point that out. That is way too much gas expenditure for two bases. This is why he's not able to establish a third. He really would want a third right now, if not before now. Um, yeah, just too much gas. He's going a rainbow build, and this is never, never very strong. Anyways, that aside, um, Bop is going for Infastinitis, so we'll just have to see how, how, how this works. Um, swarm hosts. Okay, now the infestation pit makes sense. He'll pop into the, uh, Nidus network, um, and then pop out on the other side. Whether he brings the swarm hosts in or just uses the locust, that's completely up to him. But I imagine with his, uh, Daredevil style, this is definitely going to include the swarm hosts jumping in. Queens will probably have come as well. Yep, here we go. Here's the Nidus. And immediately Bashir scouts this. This actually does not look good for Bob. His opponent already knows what's coming. Uh, and this is really, really early. He's spent a lot of gas, a lot of time. He could have been building his economy for better infrastructure, getting this Nidus. So he has to make this work. May just be that uh, over here in this corner, it will work as uh, his opponent's focusing more on trying to clear out this third. This is just in the nick of time. The Nidus completes. The swarm hosts are popping out. They have queens there for support. N uh, the locusts are going up here into the natural. Uh, that's probably a good place to target. There is no third established just yet. However, a lot of photon cannons are being started. Yet, photon cannons are not that strong of an answer uh, to free units. This These attacks cost Bop nothing. In fact, Swarm Hosts are super powerful against Stargate play. Um, simply because there's no real AoE. Colossi wipe the floor with Locusts. Void Rays barely do anything. They barely have time to charge. Now, the Zealots are soaking up shots for the Photon Cannon. Um, yet, the Photon Cannons are not here in the back. And there is a Nidus Swarm being built. Lots of gateways right here. And Will, yes, Bashir is noticing this. He's only sending in one Zealot, however. He is not actually going to be able to stop this. The Nidus Network completes. Queen's popping out now. Going to target out that... Zealot, oh my god, Swarmos are popping out now, all he's got to do is burrow any off, Locust in his opponent's base. This is exactly what he wanted, he no longer has to contend with this huge wall of photon cannons, he is doing it here in the back of his opponent's base, his opponent now pumping out the Colossi, but it's too late, Barcode Bashir is defeated! Guys, this is Shaft of the Clinic Casting Crew. If you like this presentation, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the link in the bottom right during our credits. If you also like to, please subscribe to us on Twitter, follow us on Twitch, plus one this video, share it with your mom, share it with your dad, give it to your sister. I don't care, give it to somebody. If they don't like StarCraft, tell them about the awesomeness that is StarCraft and let this be their starting place. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, guys. And as always, don't forget to be awesome. Bye-bye! 신앙 선수가 되는 거고요. 그렇죠. 멀티에 방해도 받지 않으면서 안전하게 해주고 있는 모습인데 맹독 중에 스피드업이 되기 전에 즉, 전방 위에서만 싸워야 되고 전방만 또 제거하고 맞춰야